I'm going to draft a team, try to get some of the players for the program missions, but also try to just get a good team that can win some games. Give me some parallel XP. I'm doing something a little bit different with today's video. There's an option when I go to upload the videos where I can make it so notifications don't go out. And I think also the video might not show up in subscription feeds. So I know it's a little bit weird, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different today. Just see how it works see if people are still able to find and show up to the video so if you have made it here maybe in the comment section let me know how you found the video if it was through recommended if you did get a notification or maybe just let me know that you're here by dropping a like on the video but this is the first program round i already have one soto done but i don't have any of these other guys done i'm at 90 parallel xp with jose ramirez i think we might as well just draft him here I don't think I have any of the golds done. I got 190 with Familia. I'm kind of looking for him to pop up in a later round. Trey Mancini, I'm at 474 parallel XP with. I need to get to 500. That's how much you need for these battle royale missions. So I'll grab him there. Mike Moustakis, 394. A little bit less so far than Mancini, but still getting close. About 100 away. Might as well grab him. Adam Wainwright, I feel like I gotta choose Wayno. Get him on this battle royale team. And now it is our final diamond round of the draft. Nico Horner, a lot of contact, but not a lot of power. I score most of my runs with power. I'm probably not going to choose a diamond starting pitcher. I've used Ryan Helsley a little bit this year. He was in my ranked seasons bullpen. He did okay, but I was never really super comfortable with the card. So for me, I think the easy choice here is Mike Piazza. Let's see. I don't know if Alfonso Soriano, no. He was... I think maybe the last battle royale program, but not this time. I'm just going to grab a lefty for my bullpen. We're guaranteed to have one now. Man, Tommy Pham could be decent versus lefties, maybe as a pinch hitter. I think I might just go Josh Sabors. Is the S silent? Real G's moving silence like lasagna, but I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name. Zach Granke. Let's go ahead and get Brandon. It's, oh my goodness, they're giving me super hard names. Brandon Pafat is the P silent? I really don't know, and I feel like anytime there's a supercharged, unless Raleigh Fingers is a program card, nah, he's not here, so anytime there's a supercharged guy, I think I need to choose him when it's Juan Soto, especially, yeah, we gotta be getting this card on our BR team, maybe even putting him really at the top of my lineup, try to get him as many at-bats as possible, there's Aaron Bummer for another lefty in the pen, and isn't this the dude, like, is he dating Vanessa Hudgens? Maybe they're married now or engaged or something, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, who Cole Tucker is. Our second to last gold round. No program cards here. Goldie not playing up. Keston Shira really good versus righties, kind of reverse splits. I don't want Chris Paddock. I don't really want Craig Kimbrell. I'm not a fan of his pitch selection. I'm going to go Paul Goldschmidt. I got Wayno. Let's get Goldie. Let's make this a Cardinals. Battle Royale team, O'Neal Cruz has 99 speed. You know what? Let's just let's draft O'Neal Cruz. Let's see how he does. I haven't used an O'Neal Cruz card in a while. Do I gotta grab Harrison Bader now too? Hunter Harvey looks like a decent guy in the bullpen though. Our final gold round. I think I'm gonna go with Hunter Harvey. Just try to boost our bullpen a little bit. Stephen O'Kurt. Try to get another lefty in the pen. Chris Martin, one of my go-to BR righties. Jordan Lyles, we can finish off that rotation. Jake Walsh, a common in the pen. Maybe my final right-handed pitcher. He threw some gas. He has some high velocity. Garrett Mitchell has 99 speed in the outfield and center. That's really not too bad. In Battle Royale, it's actually pretty good to have some good outfielders. Some fast outfielders. Erasmo Ramirez is going to be my last bullpen guy. I think I need Yohan Moncada. I really do, man. I love switch hitters. I love Moncada's swing. That's a great addition to our lineup. Maybe get Joe Adele as a pinch runner. 97 speed. Switch hitter off the bench, I guess. And final round of the draft. Is there any position I need to replace? I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a better outfielder. Maybe better hitting outfielder. But at the same time, I don't mind having the defense there. Brandon Lowe, we could go. I like his swing. Yeah, I'm going to figure out this lineup and then let's actually get some gameplay with the team today too. This lineup is actually looking kind of nasty to me. There's not really a weak spot in there. Even with the program cards as my one, two, three hitters, 
first game with the team i'm the away team so we get a hit first facing tanner baby and i'm not sure if i mentioned but the reason i'm trying that setting where it doesn't send out notifications or show up in the subscriber feed is because i kind of want to try making other videos maybe like irl baseball videos or even me playing other games stuff like that and i think it'd be nice to have a place to upload them here on this channel but maybe because majority if not all of the subscribers are from mlb the show if i upload something that's not mlb the show i wouldn't really want to be sending out notifications but i still might want people to click on it if it looked like something they were interested in if it happened to pop up and they recommended they were just looking at my channel and seeing the videos i still would want the video available but i think it just is kind of nice to know that the option to not send out notifications would actually work and we have Jose Ramirez up to bat, program card, first three hitters, all program cards. I'm really just hoping for back to back to back home runs to start this game. There's one. Wow, Jose Ramirez, I think I'm two for two with this card with two home runs. Either way, he's batting a thousand. Maybe I have more than just one AB, but he's still batting a thousand and now he's got two homers. Mike Moustakis, you're the second man up. We've got the first back of the three that we need. And there's the second one on the very next pitch. Okay, so we've started off back to back. We've got double Ds, double dingers today. And, you know, there's something else going on too, but we've got the first two backs. I'm trying to get the third back. And XXX Chungujin quits before we have a chance i'm actually really close to getting both trey mancini and mike moustakis missions done for the parallel xp so i moved them down a little bit i changed our lineup around we're the home team for this game wayno's on the mound pitching first for us and then one other thing is sometimes i get clips that are kind of funny or interesting of mlb the show that i would maybe want to upload and let's just say i have four or five clips that i want to upload in a single day I wouldn't really want to be spamming y'all's notifications with just one to two minute long clips all in the same day. But at the same time, I still would want people to see them. And if they could just naturally get views, people looking at the channel or potentially popping up and recommended, that'd be cool too. What's not very cool is Jose Ramirez hitting a leadoff homer. Much better. I needed that after the home run. Obviously, I gave up the home run. It was a perfect, perfect. But I genuinely don't remember what pitch it was to Jose Ramirez. Did I give up a home run on the sweeping curve? Did I hang that? Was it a sinker? Was it a cutter? I wasn't paying attention to what pitch it was when he hit the home run. And now I'm really not sure what pitch I should be avoiding facing Juan Soto. I don't want to give up a second home run in the inning. It's not a home run. And I thought we were maybe going to get there. No, it's an automatic double. And Trey Mancini goes yard. Okay, it's 3-0. That's not that big of a deal. I haven't even hit yet. My only two at-bats of the day are two home runs. There we go. Besides a couple homers, it really wasn't that bad. A top of the first inning. The issue is, this is not really a hitters-friendly ballpark. So the fact that I gave up three runs in the top of the first is not the best start. The good news is, Jose Ramirez is 2 for 2 to start his career for me with 2 home runs. I thought it was 3. Oh man, who chose this ballpark? There we go, that should be a hit. No! Yes, I don't think it's going to be a hit. I think that's going to be considered an error, but at least he's on... Oh wait, no, it is a base hit. Nice. I'm glad my perfect, perfect resulted in a hit. Now I really need to hit a home run with this 99 overall World Series MVP, Jorge Soler. Oh, good eye to O count. Yeah, now this is feeling like a good bottom of the first for us. And that's ball four to Soler. So the tying run is now in the batter's box in the form of Yohan Moncada with his 444 average. I should have hit that for a homer. I'm late on it. I either should have hit it for a homer or because I misjudged that first, I should have just laid off it. Now I got two on with two down. I need to start a two-on rally. The good news is we have a diamond at 97, Mike Pizza. Looking to do some damage. It's going to drop down. I'm going to score a run. 44 speed on its way home. Three to one. I'm hoping this could be a big two-on rally. The tying run on base. The potential go-ahead run coming up. 
in the form of our program card, Mike Moustakis. And I'm early. I think that would have been a homer if I had good timing. And Mike Moustakis goes yard. I told y'all. It's just three runs. It's really not that many. Into the bullpen. And we have the lead. Four to three. Maybe I should start playing BR more. Because this is actually a really fun mode. It was my favorite for a reason. There's a reason that I used to only play Battle Royale. And only make BR videos. It's always been my most favorite mode. And a big part of that is... I'm not a big fan of playing nine inning games on MLB The Show online. I much prefer like the three to five inning. I think that would be a good sweet spot. I really wish there was a three inning or five inning ranked seasons mode. And that's going to be out number three. But after one inning, we have the lead. That should be out number one. O'Neill Cruz gets him easily. There we go. That's out number two. And that is a much better top of the second, a perfect top of the second inning after allowing three in the first. I'm hoping we could add on to our lead. And if I could just find a way to stop giving up home runs while I'm pitching, I think I would be way better at this game. Paul Goldschmidt, live series card. I think he was batting 600 for me going into that AB. Jose Ramirez no longer batting 1,000, but I think now his average is up to 750. Not a double play, please. I'm begging. 44 speed. And he's going to be out. Okay. Well, we went from no outs to two outs. Jorge Soler, though. This is the World Series MVP card. If he gets the pitch to hit, it's going a long way into the air. After two, it's going to be four to three. And I'm three outs away from being two and oh. Oh, no. Whew. Jose Ramirez not able to tie the game. Joey Votto, not able to tie the game. I hope he stretches it to a double or tries to... Oh, no, I messed it up. Yo, I didn't think it was going to bounce off the corner and go left. I don't think we would have had him anyways. That's the tying run and scoring position with only one down. Coming up is Nelson Cruz. You can see that Chris Martin is low on energy. It's in the red. So I'm going to throw everything except a pitch that's in the strike zone. And if we could get him swinging like that, I wouldn't mind a strikeout. And just like that, we're one strike away from a strikeout. Let's try to get him chasing again. So I've only thrown outside pitches. And I think because he's out of energy, I'm going to throw it inside. He's able to tie the game on that pitch. I did not expect that. Now we need a double play. I really don't want to give up the lead. You know, I look in the bottom left. I see a pitch way inside. I see that the timing's late. And it's a bit frustrating that that is what tied the game but then i realized my pitcher was out of energy i don't know why i didn't go to the bullpen i have a bullpen for a reason why would i leave in somebody when he's out of energy and now the potential go-ahead run is in scoring position and there's still only one down in the inning this is a scary situation we gotta clutch up three and two to trey mancini perfect release jammed mike moustakis to second and it's a game. Wait, no, we didn't win. We're tied at four. It's a game-saving, potentially double play. I need to just take the lead and win the game. We got to walk it off right here. Tied four to four. Bottom of the third. Aroldis Chapman still on the mound. And I really like everybody in this lineup. Moncada's up right now. Piazza's on deck. Moustakas do up after him. Any one of these three guys could win us this game. And see, the late hit that I gave up was frustrating. But I'm sure that's frustrating for my opponent too. Bruce Dar is going to come in to try to save this game for our opponents. And if we're swinging like this, I don't think he has a chance. Please don't be a double play. Ooh! No way! That is insane. What a play, but man. That's actually mind-blowing to me. All right, Mike Moustakis, he had a game-tying home run. Could he have a game winning? home run not if he's swinging at that pitch go please no why do i have to be early i'm not in my final strike here in the bottom of the third good take and we win mike moustakis has a game tying home run and now he has a game winning home run and i think you could say he had a game winning home run in the first game too because it was his homer that made our opponent rage quit it sealed the deal so 
This program card is a must-have for me, apparently, in Battle Royale, because he has single-handedly carried us to a 2-0 start with this team.